Uh, how come I can't, like... Oh, come on, really? I'm at the beginning. Why is this slippery? Alright, well... I guess I'm not gonna be able to sit back here and just send missiles the whole time. Am I really supposed to, like, destroy everything, or... Can I just, like, quick... Oh, there's a sock over here. Nice. Yeah, Patrick will be happy about that. Yeah, I wish there was, a like, a spatula I could just grab, but... That's not gonna be the case. Oh, I almost jumped into that. Alright, so I'm, like, relatively safe here. How come they won't let me blow it up with the missiles? They're like, no, that's too unfair. Oh, well, I guess it got its shield back, like, instantly anyway. Yeah, they really don't. Okay. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Oh, for love of God. Why isn't Squidward helping at all? Squidward's watching me get absolutely fucking destroyed, and he will not help. I'm dead. I died... I died very quickly. Apparently, I'm not ready for this. Dude, SpongeBob's dream stuff is, like, kind of tough. There's, there's some toughies. So, like, the burger splits off and makes... Oh, come on, really? Like, come on. I hit the bubble, and then he just bounces me off the fucking platform. Oh, my God. All right, don't use the missile at all. Got it. I'm not using the missile anymore. All it does is plant me into the ground and makes me a gigantic target. Like, I don't know why this piece of the... Why is everything so slippery? Like, I don't know why this piece of the burger comes over here. I swear there was, like, another piece of a burger that also came over here at one point. So maybe if I, like, kill... En yeah, maybe if I kill enemies, more pieces of the burger start floating around. These enemies are, like, super fucking annoying, though. Like, holy crap, these guys are annoying. Yeah, I don't know, maybe you just have to, like, go around killing enemies until the burger splits up. Alright. Looking, looking, looking good. How come, like... Oh, no. Okay, I can just, like, spatula the bubble. Alright. I, I thought that maybe they would knock me off. Because I swear I, like, bumped into one of these idiots' bubbles. And it just, like, knocked me off the platform. And was terrible. Alright, kill enemies, make new platforms with the burger, get the hell out of here. This level has not been kind to me. Mr. Krabs' dream has been kind of rough. How the hell do I get over there? Oh, come on. No. What the fuck, dude? I have, to, do I, I have to do the whole thing over. Oh, come on. God fucking damn it, dude. Sometimes you just get, like, bounced around kind of, like, annoyingly in the game. Like, not only do you take damage, but you also take, like, massive knockback. This is not going well. I don't even know if there's any underwear around here anywhere. I have no clue if there's you. Well, I guess there's underwear by the spawners, so. And all the food is slippery? It's weird. Maybe not all of it. I swear some of it is, like, slippery. Like, this bun is, like, kind of slippery. Maybe I'm crazy, but. Alright, we just need the tomato. One of these days, I'll get it. How did I not hit that guy? I don't know. Oh, and now I get knocked off and knocked back again. Oh, my God. What's down there? A purple shiny object. Awesome. That's what I wanted. <laughs> that really improved my mood right there. I was kind of upset, but then I got the almighty purple shiny object. And now I'm just happy. Happy as a clam. Beautiful. What, also, like, what is shooting the thing that, like, blows me the fuck up? Is it these? 
Is it these idiots? Can I even kill these idiots? Yeah, you have to like kill the big fuck. Oh my god. The I'm gonna be stuck on this for a while at this point. Like, no joke, I'm just gonna be doing this until like I magically just finally get lucky or something. I'm already fucking dead. Holy crap. This little section is. Kind of just missile stuff. No, they don't like me missling stuff. I already, I already learned that earlier. I don't know why I tried to do it again. Oh my god! Cause like, what's annoying is that I guess I can hit enemies into them, and that helps. All right, so I guess the way to deal with the big robots, I'm just gonna jump off. Cause like, this is just damage fucking central. How did this get, like, this went from being, like, pretty chill and, like, I generally wasn't having very many issues to, like, hell on earth with this one little section. Like, I just, every time I just do anything, I just take massive damage now. What even hit, what hit me there? What hit me that time? I didn't even see. I just tried to like show up and do that and then I got knocked back. Where where are the little robots? That's not a little robot, that was a big robot. Yeah, I need to do that and then like just slap the shit out of them. I, don't, I need to be like way more careful. I just need to get, like, all of these burgers set up and then do stuff. I think that's kind of what I need to do. Oh, come on. What? Half the time, I don't even know, like, what's hitting me. Oh, for the love of fucking God, dude. Like, I feel like I'm not even close to stuff sometimes, and it still hits me. And, like, I really don't know what is hitting me. Can we get a little robot over here? Oh. Dude, like, I don't even know what, like... Oh, my fucking god. This is gonna take forever. This is gonna fucking take fucking forever. Oh, my god. This is actually, like, for me, it's pretty tough. Ugh. See, like, what? I don't know why I keep getting hit there. I, like, slap the little robot into him, and then I take damage. And now I'm, like, already at no fucking health for, like, no reason. Like, I need to pay attention and see what's damaging me so I can try to, like, work around it, but I can never tell what's actually damaging me. I wouldn't say, like, never tell, but, like, I don't know. On on occasion, I can't tell exactly what's damaging me. Maybe I can, like, hold on. I didn't even try the bowling ball. That That's my issue right there. I'm not using the bowling ball. Oh. Yeah, it's like those things have some, like, weird shockwave thing they do. Oh, come on, I have, like, one fucking health. All right, so the bowling ball, obviously. Would have been really good to know that from the beginning. I wish I wish I was using the bowling ball from the beginning. Because that would have been, like, really helpful. It kills them in, like, one hit. All right, if I can sneak over. <laughs> if I can just sneak over. Maybe get some underwear on the way. Oh. It's alright, I'm like... I'm looking okay, I think. We just gotta get the heck out of here.
All right, now what do I... I guess I just need to kill everything. All right. I wish I would have used the bowling ball earlier because the bowling ball was actually, like, really good. And now we should just be able to kill all this stuff and be fine. Oh, yeah, the bowling ball. Yep, the bowling ball was, like, amazing. And I, that, I didn't use it at all. <laughs> Oops. Dude, that took like 20 minutes. That took a while. I actually was making that like way harder than it needed to be by not using the bowling ball at all. Dang, I was hoping there'd be a little bit more because I was taking a drink, but. Oh, yep. Finally. Now we can leave. But first, I need my paycheck. Mitch Crab. Excuse me. Mitch Crab. Well, I don't think you're getting paid. I think all this money's for Mr. Krabs. All right, so if you're having a hard time on the grill section of the game, for Mr. Krabs' dream, just use the bowling ball, and it's, like, way fucking easy. You will probably have way less issues. Oh. Well, speaking of issues. Oh, speaking of big fucking issues right now. <laughs> I wonder why I wonder why everyone wanted me to do SpongeBob stream. I wonder. So like, yeah, how am I supposed to You can't like bowling ball these at all. So I just have to like Okay. Now I should be able to like do this and then like jump here and then jump here. And then jump here. Oh, we gotta go back over. Oh, please be flat. Thank you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that was a little backwards. Hey, Patrick's dream. Perfect. Let me jump over here real quick. Don't forget about the bowling ball. That's really good against those enemies. That I haven't been using. Hey, I got a sleepy time achievement. 90 spatulas. How many how many spatulas do I have here? I'm only missing I'm only missing the one. Alright, it has to be it has to be in Patrick's dream. It's gotta be. Probably a couple socks, a spatula, you know? Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Why does Patrick's dream, why is it just dark? It's just like dark. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula! I found it. It's in his hand. Can I have it? You're holding it. You did it! Now here's wow! Your reward. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Patrick, after the hellhole that was... It's just... After the hellhole that was Mr. Krabs' dream because I didn't know about the bowling ball, that was pretty good. Also, yeah, he just has, like, one light here, and then there's just, like, dream particles everywhere. I don't know. I challenge you to... Patrick, I... Yes? I already solved the challenge. You did? Then here's your reward. You already gave it to me. I did? Then I challenge you to... Uh, Patrick, I've got to go. Gary, uh, needs another bath. Patrick's stuck in a, an infinite time loop of just repeating himself. Well, that was fucking super easy then, wasn't it? That was pretty easy. Oh, God. You just stroll into Patrick's dream and you get it. All right, so... Little little bit of little bit of a struggle on what was it, Krabby Patty platforms? That was a bit of a struggle, but everything else wasn't too bad. Four out of five socks. I missed one sock, it's not too bad. So I can just leave. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back into like town. Let's go back to SpongeBob's house. Have I found all the yeah, I found like everything. That spatula's done, all that's done, done done just check this one more time at least before moving on look all done at least spatula wise we're not talking about socks we're not even going to talk about those socks i can probably get another spatula from patrick how many total spatulas are there like a hundred i'm missing four from patrick three from crabs at least four yep four seven yeah there's like 99 or 100 that's definitely not exit. 
All right, let's talk to Patrick, who for some... Oh, man, dude, that was... That was a little skippy for some reason. Like, left SpongeBob's house, and everything just started skipping everywhere. All right, we've already heard that joke a hundred times, so we're just gonna skip it. <laughs> Nice close-up on the back of Patrick's head there. Did you find me? Not yet. Oh. All right, well, that's probably it for Patrick's socks. Now I can just go to the Chum Bucket Lab. Go, go somewhere. Where do I even have to go? I know I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Uh, what do you call it? Shiny objects for crabs. All right, I guess we'll just go in here then. There's probably, like, a door I can walk through. Oh, yeah, the 75 spatula door. Why is there a TV in front of the door? Was that TV always there? I don't remember this TV. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children. And stomp on your children's children. I feel like we've seen this. This has been a Bikini Bottom news flash. I feel like I checked that like forever ago and didn't remember. But either way, we get to go to Plankton's lab finally. After dealing with robots all game. Oh, there's a giant SpongeBob robot already. Look at that guy. That big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Wait, that hideous thing looks like me. I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Chomp bin, jelly beans, a robot SpongeBob. There's definitely something funny going on here. Why is there a mime in here? I don't mean you. Something else funny. Random mime in Plankton's like chum bucket. You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time. Behold, the Duplicatotron. I registered the name, so don't even think you're ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh... I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton. Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that. What's wrong now? It should be working. It is working. They're obeying me. There's a Robo Plankton. I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute. You've interfered with my plan for the last time. Fun bomb. Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough. Prepare to meet your All right, so it wasn't Plankton. It, it was Plankton, but it was also Robo Plankton. Also, this looks... I immediately got hit. What is this? 